A Course in Miracles, Volume 2, Workbook for Students, Lesson 107. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. What can correct illusions but the truth? And what are errors but illusions which remain unrecognized for what they are? Where truth has entered, errors disappear. They merely vanish, leaving not a trace by which to be remembered. They are gone because without belief they have no life, and so they disappear to nothingness, returning whence they came. From dust to dust they come and go, for only truth remains. Can you imagine what a state of mind without illusions is? How it would feel? Try to remember when there was a time, perhaps a minute, maybe even less, when nothing came to interrupt your peace, when you were certain you were loved and safe. Then try to picture what it would be like to have that moment be extended to the end of time and to eternity. Then let the sense of quiet that you felt be multiplied a hundred times and then be multiplied another hundred more. And now you have a hint not more than just the faintest intimation of the state your mind will rest in when the truth has come. Without illusions, there could be no fear, no doubt, and no attack. When truth has come, all pain is over, for there is no room for transitory thoughts and dead ideas to linger in your mind. Truth occupies your mind completely liberating you from all beliefs in the ephemeral. They have no place because the truth has come and they are now nowhere. They cannot be found, for truth is everywhere, forever now. When truth has come, it does not stay a while to disappear or change to something else. It does not shift and alter in its form, nor come and go and go and come again. It stays exactly as it always was to be depended on in every need and trusted with a perfect trust in all the seeming difficulties and the doubts which the appearances the world presents engender. They will merely blow away when truth corrects the error in your mind. When truth has come, it harbors in its wings the gift of perfect constancy and love which does not falter in the face of pain, but looks beyond it steadily and sure. Here is the gift of healing. For the truth needs no defense, and therefore no attack is possible. Illusions can be brought to truth to be corrected, but the truth stands far beyond illusions and cannot be brought to them to turn them into truth. Truth does not come and go, nor shift, nor change, in this appearance now and then in that, evading capture and escaping grasp. It does not hide. It stands in open light, in obvious accessibility. It is impossible that anyone could seek it truly and would not succeed. Today belongs to truth. Give truth its due, and it will give you yours. You were not meant to suffer and to die. Your father wills these dreams be gone. Let truth correct them all. We do not ask for what we do not have. We merely ask for what belongs to us, that we may recognize it as our own. Today we practice on the happy note of certainty which has been born of truth. The shaky and unsteady footsteps of illusion are not our approach today. We are as certain of success as we are sure we live and hope and breathe and think. We do not doubt we walk with truth today and count on it to enter into all the exercises that we do this day. Begin by asking him, who goes with you upon this undertaking, that he be in your awareness as you go with him. 
You are not made of flesh and blood and bone, but were created by the selfsame thought which gave the gift of life to him as well. He is your brother, and so like to you, your father knows that you are both the same. It is yourself you ask to go with you, and how could he be absent where you are? Truth will correct all errors in your mind which tell you you could be apart from him. You speak to him today and make your pledge to let his function be fulfilled through you. To share his function is to share his joy. His confidence is with you as you say. Truth will correct all errors in my mind and I will rest in him who is myself. Then let him lead you gently to the truth, which will envelop you and give you peace so deep and tranquil that you will return to the familiar world reluctantly. And yet you will be glad to look again upon this world, for you will bring with you the promise of the changes which the truth that goes with you will carry to the world. They will increase with every gift you give of five small minutes, and the errors which surround the world will be corrected as you let them be corrected in your mind. Do not forget your function today. Each time you tell yourself with confidence, truth will correct all errors in my mind. You speak for all the world and him who would release the world as he would set you free. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Today belongs to truth. So you do need to give truth its due. Truth is not one of those things that come and go and come and go and you vacillate between truth and untruth and truth and untruth and truth and untruth. Once you have truth, you have truth. Once you know boiling water is hot, you know boiling water is hot. It's a truth. It's a fact. It is what it is. And so go through these lessons today and go through your five minutes as well with your exercises and just let this sit with you while you tell yourself truth will correct all errors in my mind and I will rest in him who is myself. Resting in yourself is so important and here they're talking about self with the capital S but just rest in the truth of who you are. Just rest. This is not an academic curriculum that is difficult to understand and attain. It is a practical experience. It's an experiential path of spiritual development, of knowing who you are, knowing the truth, and knowing once truth comes in, illusions have no place. They've gone from whence they came, dust to dust. So go through the lesson slowly, sit with it, And I love you, I honor you, I bless you, I cherish you. I thank you so much for being here. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Take care.